I have been talking to some Christians lately who presume to dictate to me what I think. Uh, by the way, if I was Bionic Dance, I'd have the hard rock going right now. It's the usual atheists assert there is no God bullshit. They keep insisting that, even when you tell them that's not what you think. It's a typical fundy tactic. They always want to equate all atheists with this tiny little minority. So, my new strategy will be to give them a choice. We can do things the usual way, where I lay out my position and they lay out theirs, or... I will give them the option for us to dictate each other's position. That way they can say atheism is believing there is no God, just like they want. Then I can define Christianity for them. Here's how I'm going to define it. Christianity is the belief that a magic badger cleanses every one of their sins with its flatulence then, to accept this forgiveness, you must cover yourself in tapioca pudding, jump up and down, and chant, Magic Badger Farts! Magic Badger Farts! Sure, as an atheist, I have faith there is no God. But I don't have enough faith to believe in badger farts and tapioca pudding. Besides, in my atheist handbook of God rejection, it clearly states, only fools believe in magic badger farts. In fact, it says in another section that everyone who smears tapioca pudding all over themselves to receive the power of a badger's gas is a fucking retard. Ah, oh, stupid Christians and their worship of gassy magical animals. How pathetic. Oh, and, and what about the Ark story? <laughs> yeah, how did a giant papier-mâché hat shaped like an Ark sail through lava? <laughs> it would have burned up. Oh, and what about the creation of the universe? There is no way a celestial Lich King's delayed blast fireball caused the Big Bang. So, anyway... Go ahead and choose which way you want to do things. I bet the first way sounds a lot better now. Everything else is just badger farts and pudding.